The people of Gangora community in the Zango Katonga government area of Kaduna State, Nigeria, woke up today in another pain following an attack by Fulani in the community that occurred last night, being the 17th of December 2020 at about 8.05 p.m. These very attacks marked the second in the community by their enemies just this year. In this very attack, seven lives have been confirmed dead, about 17 houses completely burned down, two cattle stolen, shop burned down. This particular shop was looted. Motorcycles were also burned down. One may be wondering what is actually happening between the gang community and the Fulani. What actually took place in last night incident? Actually, it's a pathetic situation that only God who has been faithful has intervened in the matter. The situation is very terrible in the sense that we wish that the government who are in power indeed take responsibility because incidences like this that are happening in the country, particularly in this village, Gagora, this is the second time such an incident is happening. And we discovered that some of the people that are supposed to take responsibilities, by implication, will have the military in the town. But the truth is this, we know their number, based on the situation that happened, cannot curtail the situation. We need to know that we are in a time that things that are happening Will, will, will must lead, I mean, has to lead people to taking responsibility by implication, defending themselves. Look at the kind of lives that, have, that we lost here. A particular family losing five people completely the father, the mother, and four children. I mean, four, three children. It's very pathetic. Look at the number of houses that are born here. And you discover at the end of the day which government will come to the aid. Nobody will say anything about this. What are we doing? So we are pleading with the government to do something so that people will not be blamed when they respond negatively because of the grievances, because of the pains, because of the gravity of the situation. Talking about the government taking responsibility with the sad experience yeah. that, had, that occurred previously, don't you think the community leaders, youth, sons and daughters, both home and outside, will have done much better in protecting of lives and property against any occurrences. Yeah, but the truth is, the government will always tell you, don't take laws into your hands. Then if you are saying we should not take laws into your hand, our hands, by implication, they should be responsible. They should take responsibility by protecting the lives and the properties of the people. In the poor, Yes. <laughs> He for I am going In this very house, five lives were lost. The disturbing and challenging issue between the community youth that is arising is the fact that this house is situated just about 100 meters away from the military post in the community. But we cannot completely deny the failure and inactiveness that comes in the sight of the community youths and members of the community as well. We must all rise and defend the land or lose our existence. From Gangora community, it's Adamu Manasi reporting for Maski Media and Television.